Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of speaking with Stephen Connor, who joins us from Toronto. He's the CEO of Hanover Learning. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you, Gerhard. Pleasure to be here. What did you learn from the Ebbinghaus Forgetting Curve? You know, the Ebbinghaus Forgetting Curve is something that people don't often think about, but it's a simple philosophy that has been around since 1865. And Herman Ebbinghaus theorized and proved that the human mind forgets 80% of everything they're taught within the first 24 hours. From a sales learning and a training concept, that's why the reps forget everything that we taught them three days later. So how do you beat that forgetting curve? In addition to describing the curve, he described how to beat it. He talked about thin chunks or slices of content. He talked about a continuum of learning over time rather than an event. He talked about immediate application of the theories. And then the last thing he talked about was the reinforcement and coaching. So you have integrated that uh, know-how into a learning process uh, that is also aided by an iPhone app. Is that correct? You know, we say that sales training doesn't work. And I know that may be blast for me for a lot of the people that are listening to your show, but it's really a change of perspective. It's not about training. It's about learning. Training is about telling the rep something. Learning is about the acquisition of knowledge. We have a tool called Habit Builder, which after a thin slice of content enables the learner to check in, talk about what they want to reinforce, and it utilizes both text and email to reinforce over a four-week period, ultimately Gerard, driving into that content retention. How much time do salespeople spend on, on one slice, consuming one slice? We keep it to 90 minutes at max. And in the 90 minutes, it's really important that the conversation versus content ratio is right. So in our 90-minute sessions, there's probably 40% of the facilitator and 60% is the learners. Them using the, con the talk tracks, them doing examples, role playing. So it's very interactive and short. So at 90 minutes, they can get off and go out and make some sales calls and hopefully start to drive the uh, results. And after that slice is completed, what does your learning machine do actually? We follow up four additional times with each learning. So 24 hours after the learning, you'll get a summary and a review of key contents. That'll be emailed out to the learner so that they can refresh their memory. And then the habit builder kicks in where they get the text reminders to check in and rate their score on how they're doing. Then I have a dedicated session with each of the sales managers. And the sales managers, as you know, play a key role in activating the learning of their people. All of this culminates at the end where they do some reflection questions and they answer whether or not they felt a change in their habits. The sales leaders in these organizations get reporting, actual reporting on the learning journey, the habits that are being built at an individual and a topic level. What this ultimately does is it over a continuum of time sharpens the acts of even the best sales reps, not to change their style, but to make them that much better than the competition. How can people learn more, Stephen? You know, you can check us out at HanoverLearning.com or you can reach out to me directly. We'd be happy to discuss what we do and how we do it and the impacts that we've had on all the sales teams that we've affected. Well, thank you, Stephen, for this enlightening interview and for helping elevate the profession of selling. Yeah.